The Space Coast is busy with the addition of commercial space flight. SpaceX alone is on pace to shatter U.S. launch records again this year. It's also about to get even busier at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex because a brand new attraction is opening in just a few days. News 6 Insider Guide Crystal Moyer got a sneak peek of the new Gateway Deep Space Launch Complex. This was so cool. I got to check out Gateway, the deep space launch complex. Before it opens, you'll get to discover current and future innovations of space exploration from NASA and their commercial partners and get an up close view of flight capsules, spacecrafts, and pick your own journey through space on a new ride. It's a new attraction at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Enter Gateway. It's like a warehouse full of current and futuristic space vehicles and technology with interactive games and objectives to demonstrate how it all works, like this RL-10 engine currently used on rockets. Liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, that flows through the engine. The hydrogen flows through the chamber, and so as the colder hydrogen passes through the warmer nozzle, it expands faster, and you uh, spark the igniter. Orion spacecraft module updated to support 1,000 day missions to space well beyond the ISS. And physics hasn't changed since the 1970s. What's inside the spacecraft though is significantly updated technology. It's going to hold more people. It's going to have touch screens. It's going to be able to have uh, a toilet inside the Apollo spacecraft and have that. You could sit in the cockpit of a Boeing Starliner. Now this is a full scale exhibit to give you an idea of what it's like to be in space. You'll get a look into the future with this model Sierra space space dream chaser hanging from the ceiling. First commercial space plane and the first space plane that will launch and come back to Kennedy Space Center since the shuttle landed so many years ago in 2011. So this will be uh, an opportunity for us to demonstrate our capability to carry cargo to the International Space Station. So it's sort of our maiden debut of this design. Astronaut and Sierra Space President Janet Cavandi says the company has been creating inflatable habitats that can be launched into space and used for living, working and space it will take a while for this to become commonplace, but I do think that people will say, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to be in space for a couple of months, and I'll see you when I get home. Gateway also features Spaceport KSC. What would it be like if space tourism is just right around the corner? So we wanted to simulate that. You can choose one of four space journeys, make your way through the spaceport, and even look out the window to get a glimpse of the future of a commercial spaceflight complex. It sounds and looks just like airports today. You'll enter your own spacecraft resembling a plane with details down to the luggage compartments and seat belts. Then you'll launch into space discovering distant worlds with a unique 4D ride experience. I wasn't allowed to capture the ride in motion, so you'll have to see it for yourself. The gateway attraction demonstrating that we're always exploring life beyond Earth. The ride was just incredible and really felt like I was in a futuristic airport or spaceport, I should say. Gateway at Kennedy Space Center will be open to the public Wednesday, and we want some of our insiders to get an opportunity to check it out on us. We're giving away free tickets to Kennedy Space Center so you can take flight out of this world with the new Gateway experience. All you have to do is head to clickorlando.com slash insider to enter, and you'll win four tickets. That's a nice new bonus yes, there. You always want to plan out your day when mm -hmm. you go there, get started early because there's a lot to see. Yeah, yeah. that looks great. And a lot to learn, mm -hmm. which is also a win-win, right?